All right, good morning, my beautiful people. It is your brother Greg Ward from Code Enlighten, and uh, we are at day seven of Coding Bootcamp, uh, junior full stack developer. We'll see you guys after class. All right, you guys, we got back from Coding Bootcamp day number seven just a little while ago, and uh, we had a great day, tons and tons of information, tons and tons of good stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'll also be telling you some things I forgot to uh, mention yesterday after class. We learned so much yesterday about CSS and today got even further into it. So without further ado, here we go. All right, you guys, here we are on the computer studio. We're going to get right into it uh, and share our screen. And uh, here we're over at the, uh, the Atom editor once again. And what we got ourselves here is a little guitar um, page that we're making. And of course, we did our index uh, boilerplate. We called it the guitar shop, and we wrote "Welcome to the guitar shop." H1 for welcome, H3 for the to the, H2 for the guitar shop. We added image right here on the left, which is a Les Paul at this uh, uh, domain name right here, at this uh, URL, and we got the fender to the right, which is the, this URL right here, both width and height, 25%. I could probably raise the. Uh, the fender by a little bit to make them a little more closer. Let's see what happens. I don't want to spend too much time on that. That's a little bit too much. Let's give that a 30. And give that a 30. Close enough. All right. And what we did was uh, so normally you'd not see this class right here or with height, any of that stuff, but uh, we added the class. And we called this the class electric. And um, what we could do is actually we'll, uh, we'll call that class Les Paul. And we'll call the second one class Fender. And what we'll do is uh, we'll come over to our style sheet, which of course is located in our uh, same um, level as our index in a folder called CSS, style CSS, styles.css uh, file. And we came over here and we will hit Les Paul. So, right, we do dot and we do the name of the uh, class that we made. And we'll say all Les Pauls will have a border style solid. We'll save that. Oops. Save this. See what happens. All right. So as you see, that did that to that Les Paul. And let's go ahead and do something to our fender. I'm not really sure. What can we do? We'll just go ahead and do a border style. Oops. We'll call this dotted. So it happens. All right, so as you can see, anything that we put with the Les Paul class will be solid. Anything with the Fender class will be dotted. All right, so that's the, that right there. Um, I was having a hard time doing my ID uh, selectors, so I'm not gonna get into that right now because I was spending a bunch of time. I know it's something simple I'm missing. Um, but as far as I thought it was, I thought it was just simply, oops. I thought it was just simply a hashtag, and then whatever your ID class is, like let's say, call this uh, header twos or header threes, and we'll save, well, save that. Um, and we'll say color yellow. I don't know if this is going to work if I'm doing it right, but if we went over to H3 and we say ID equals header three, did that do anything? No, I see it didn't do anything, and I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm just supposed to do some kind of text color. Let's try text decoration. And let's do underline. Oops. 
and save that. And it worked, okay. So at least we know that that's how you do the uh, IDs. So um, classes are for when you wanna put things in groupings. Um, it could be your headers, it could be your different types of text. I mean, I'm sorry, your different images. They could be a certain type of class of, like if you're doing guitars, you could do all Les Pauls, or you could do if you're vegetables, all, you know, I mean, whatever it is, whatever classes. IDs are more for, you know, specific things. Um, yeah, that will just leave it there for now. But that's how they uh, told us to break it up. Um, all right, let's go ahead and try something. Um, all right, so one thing we went over today was divs, uh, and you're breaking up your agent and divs. So let's see, divisions. So let's try one right here. And we'll say class um, top container. Call that our top container. And right in there, we'll put welcome to the guitar shop. Boom. And then we'll make our div two middle container. And we'll put both of our guitars in there. And let's do one more div right here. I'll call this bottom container. So these are classes. So when you go over here, you're gonna have some classes that will be top container. Say the entire top container we want to have a background color. All right, so that's why I divide it up into top, top divisions, but um, middle divisions, wherever, however many you guys want. All right, so we'll call, what do we call this? We call this the middle, uh, middle container. All right, so we go ahead and do that. Middle container, background color of this. Uh, let's do red. Again, we're keeping it simple. And we'll do the bottom container background. Save that all up and see what we got. All right, so I guess it's because we don't have anything in our bottom container that's not doing anything. So let's go ahead and give ourselves an H1. And we'll say class, just for fun, equals, um, what do we do for there for our header? I think it's just anything you want, I guess. Is that right? I don't know, anyway, thank you. Thanks for coming. All right, and that's supposed to be brown. It doesn't look very brown to me, but it's supposed to be. All right, and if we want to, we could go over to our container and we could say, um, this equals, Let's say 200 pixels. That work? I think it's right. Yeah, I think it's right. Why 
point am I doing that? Alright, I'm gonna leave that alone because I'm probably doing something screwy. Alright, let's just save it like that. So you guys can see you got to divide your uh screen into uh, as many divisions as you want. And I was going to shrink the width of this container. Let's see if I could do it this way. With 200 pixels. Right. 200 pixels. Does that work? What if we say 20%? No, I don't know, you guys. You'll have to tell me what's going on. Anyway, so that's what we got for now. What else are we going today? Uh, I'll try to give you some other last little few things. We've talked about display properties. There's four different uh, values, either block, inline, inline, block, or none. Um, I'm not going to really get this up for you tonight. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Now we got ways that you could talk about, we, we talked about doing uh, spans, span class. So basically, in the middle of a sentence, let's see if we can do one real quick. Mm. All right, so then thanks for coming. Let's do a span class. And we'll put um, class equals, uh, I don't know, ch -ch -ch -ch, rocking. Um, and then we'll add thanks. Right in between these brackets. And then we'll come over to classes and we'll say rocking will be um, can we do this background color purple. It does. I know it's ugly, you guys, but still, I'm just showing you. So basically, you could, in the middle of a sentence, you could change something dynamic about the uh, about the paragraph or about the heading without uh, having to make a new line. Um, and that's about it, you guys. That's all I'm gonna get into tonight. I'm kind of tired. It's been a long day. Um, so you have display, which uh, I'm trying to remember what they're talking about. You got, you got this idea of visibility, then you got display. Display, you could uh, put none, and it removes from the site everything, um, and everything else moves it back accordingly, as if it wasn't there. And then you got also the visibility um, property, which is uh, keeps the placeholder on screen if you put hidden, hidden as the uh, value. Anyway, you guys, I'm tired. So it's been a long day. It's been a lot of fun, but my brain is fried. So I um, hope you guys are doing wonderful. We'll see you tomorrow.